It's the call of the road. The call of the Hello YouTube, road. this is William Penn. I'm uh, coming at you with a tutorial video on how to map the how to map the 25 key SL MK2 uh, from Novation uh, into GarageBand using MIDI. This is the keyboard itself. Alright. And it is a laborious process, but uh, we'll get started right away here and show you how it's done. Alright, first things first, you gotta download the AutoMap software. Uh, or make sure you have it. <coughs> it should come with the, the device itself, but if you bought it secondhand or used, uh, then download the AutoMap software from the NovationMusic.com website and you'll find it in support uh, and you download it for your Windows or your Mac. Alright, once you've downloaded the AutoMap software and installed it, you want to make sure you go ahead and plug in your uh, keyboard using the MIDI cord, plug into your USB connection, and then go ahead and bring up GarageBand. In this case, I already have it up. <clears throat> and GarageBand should detect your, your MIDI device that's plugged in. Uh, you also want to start the AutoMap uh, program. If you don't see it, see the uh, icon for it at the top here, then you'd want to go into applications and it should show the auto map server there and you just go ahead and start it then you bring up the auto map program and you bring up preferences and it should show your device listed here in this case the SL MK2 And then I'll go into software setup. And here I want to make sure that the advanced section here is that I click on it and then it's highlighted. And over here where it says MIDI ports or it says out, it should say automap MIDI. Or it says in, it should say automap MIDI as well. And then down here you choose the MIDI channel that you want to that you want to put your device to. In this case, I'm going to put it on channel 1. Now, I'll go to Mixer Plugins Mapping. It shows a picture of your, your keyboard here. And it should also show the channel that you selected, the MIDI port channel. In this case, I chose channel 1. It shows the Novation device the type MIDI. I want to go ahead and select that. And then I want to choose Edit Mapping at the bottom. And then it's going to bring up a window, which shows uh, basically the, the exact same layout of your MIDI keyboard. <clears throat> so the sliders are here, the various buttons and transport buttons are here. And uh, everything is, is there, just like on, on the keyboard itself. So here on the keyboard, you've got your sliders here, the buttons, the transport buttons on the bottom, all your rotary encoders, and the other buttons here. And it's the same layout the drum pads as well. What you would need to do is choose the button that we're going to, to assign here. So we're going to assign this button as the the play button and remember in the keyboard shortcuts it says that um, to play or to stop uh, playback you press the space bar so this button corresponds to the same button here the fourth button one two three four and it's 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 labeled here on the keyboard as a play button so whenever we what we want to do is whenever we hit Whenever we hit this button, it's going to correspond to pressing the space bar uh, on the on your computer. 
So, what we do is uh, make sure that the button here is highlighted. You'll see it uh, in, in red and with a little dotted outline. And then you go down here to the Edit Assignment window that's here. And you'll see a parameter which is uh, probably what it will start out on and it shows CC numbers. If you know a CC number for uh, for you can choose the CC number or you can do what, what I'm going to do here is the QRD assignment and I'm going to press the the key that I want to correspond to starting and stopping playback. So in this case it's a space bar. So I hit the learn assignment button I hit the space bar and it shows the space there that I just hit. And you'll see here that it says space. And the corresponding key is also lit up here, whereas all the others are not, because this is the only one that we have assigned. So now, what we want to do is relabel this. So instead of it saying space, it says play. So we at least we, we know what it is that we're looking at when we pull up this map, if we need to. So we double click, and we just uh, rewrite the word play, and hit enter. So now that is the, the play button. Um, you can go through and, and repeat this, repeat these steps with all the other buttons. If you want to do stop, if you want to do fast forward, rewind, if you want to assign other functions to these to these keys, just look at the the keyboard shortcut list in GarageBand and assign the keyboard combinations to to these various keys. Let's say I want to do I want to do the save function. Uh, which is control s I can click here it highlights it and down here in the the edit assignment window I can clear the assignment so now that's blank and I hit learn assignment and what I'm going to do is hit uh, Control S or Apple S, and now it shows that keyboard combination that I uh, that I hit Apple S. And as you can see, it shows it here <coughs> as Apple S. So uh, I, I, what I can do now is to double click this. I just rename it as the save function and hit enter. So let's say I go through and rename you know all the, the buttons I want to rename and, and the faders that I want to uh, and the, uh, the knobs and stuff. So if I want to uh, save this as a template, what I would need to do is to go up here and I would hit save. It's going to ask how, how you want to save it. Now once you save all your settings for GarageBand, you'd, you'd probably want to call this GarageBand Temp or GarageBand. In this case, I'm just going to label it as Test. And I have it saved, saved in my Documents folder. You can save it wherever you want to save it. Hit Save. Now, what you want to do is once you've saved it, You want to go to the keyboard itself, and this is where it gets tedious. You go to the keyboard here, and you hit the right command. So here we have auto map, the uh, quick menu, edit, global, and here is right. So you want to write um, what you just saved to the uh, the flash drive that's on the um, that's on the unit. So you hit the right, 
And now it's going to come up with uh, this window and mine is uh, used so you'll see this <laughs> section is messed up here but it's, it's asking you basically to name the the template that you just have so you want to name it as GarageBand so unfortunately you're gonna have to go through and do this uh, character at a time here there's no backspace so what you end up doing is going over to the character right now it's on the first one which it says GV here it would say something else generic more than likely it would already say GarageBand on on uh, when you do the template because it that's it's going to take it from the name that you saved uh, so in that case if you want to just leave it as GarageBand then you just go ahead and go to this section here and it says the, the button that's highlighted here corresponds to right. So you'd want to hit that and then it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to change the auto map and you do proceed so this button corresponds to proceed press that and it's now written it to uh, written those functions in so now I have the save function and the play function, I can also use this to as the stop function as well instead of rewriting it to the, the stop there. So, to test that, I can now close this window. Well, actually, uh, you can also save the save it as a uh, set it as a default. So every time GarageBand comes up, uh, and that's that's this right here. Save as default. So every time GarageBand comes up, it'll bring up the your GarageBand template. You can close this window and close the auto map window. And now I'm in GarageBand here and I've got uh, this uh, little loop over here. So it says it's set to, to loop this little section here. So now if I hit play Play again, and just like pressing the space bar in in on the keyboard, it stops the uh, the playback. So again, it's it's a tedious uh, process, but uh, well worth it if you you know use a MIDI and you use GarageBand a lot. Again, a bit laborious as far as all the the steps just to to program the thing. But uh, again, if you use uh, the keyboard or you, you'd like to use a uh, MIDI keyboard with GarageBand and there's no <coughs> preset template that, that you have for it, then, then with the AutoMap uh, software from Novation for the various um, SL MK series as well as the Zero MK and, and um, some of the other keyboards that they have. And this is the, the way to go uh, as far as being able to program it with GarageBand. All right, hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. It's a call of the road.